And I'm back. I can't save mid-conversation, so I have to keep playing and hopefully I can cut it in a good spot for the end of this episode and then I can go at it. Okay, so I want to know Tell how they met. You two met. Oh, we knew each other for like forever. Forever. We grew up forever, forever, ever, forever, forever. It's funny how we seem to be made for each other. Perfect match. I always knew he was the guy for me and I'm sure he never doubted that either. Jack was either. absolutely crazy about me. We thought one day we would marry, have children, be happy. And then he died. I never had many friends because I had Jack. I didn't need anybody else. You know, if there's one thing I'm really grateful for in my life, it's that I got to experience this pure, perfect love. Sounds a bit Some much, go but... a lifetime without knowing how it feels. I guess I've been very lucky. But all luck runs out sometimes. Mm. So yeah, did you know How about your cancer? How did you take the news about your cancer? He thought I was joking at first. He laughed. Then he got really angry. Why? I swore to him I was serious, but he still wouldn't believe me. Mm. We had a big fight that night. It was our first and only fight. But it was awful. Mm. He smashed some stuff. His guitar of all things was the worst. He loved that guitar. Why did he break it? He was absolutely furious. He walked out on me that night, and when he came back the next day, he was different. No. Oh. Begged me to try surgery and chemotherapy. I didn't really want those things. Oh. But I did the chemo for him. It didn't help. It just made me feel sick all the time. Mm. I felt trapped in this strange place where nothing that happened around me seemed real. Maybe that's why I didn't see what my cancer was doing to Jack, and it was mm. destroying him as well. Yeah. He changed. He became obsessed with death. It seemed death was all he ever thought about, even though it was me, not him, who was supposed to die. Yeah, but if the love of your life dies, then some part of you dies too, I think. Jack made those pictures on your wall. Was he an artist? He always liked all kinds of morbid stuff, whether it was music, movies, paintings. So do I, really. We had that in common, amongst other things. People say it's depressing to listen to sad songs or watch sad films. But I never felt that way. Well... And yet, you are scared of fog. I hate That's sad different. films, but I like sad I music. might be scared of fog, but I like spiders. They're beautiful. No. You must be out of your mind, Mitzi. I hate you know, spiders. Honestly, there's a certain indescribable beauty in sadness. Just like there's beauty in the grey and ugly winter morning when you look past the obvious and notice what others can't see. Like what? You must love my apartment then. <laughs> it's like ugly took a vacation here and never <laughs> went home again. How did he How die? How did he die? How did Jack die? Have a fag. So distant to the last few weeks before. Before he died. What I didn't know was that he kept looking for something. I don't think he even knew what exactly. But it eventually found him. Or rather, he found him. There are those forums online, you know? About all sorts of stuff. Fishing, computer games, horses, gambling, addictions. Everything really. Accidentally, yeah. Jack stumbled upon one about suicide. Yeah, they're there. There's a guy there. Calls himself the Eye of Adam. He's a fucking god on that forum. Hmm. It's like a failed suicide club. People mostly try to help each other and offer support. Sometimes it just helps to know there are others like you. To listen to their stories and, and how they cope with their lives. Yeah. But the Eye of Adam. He's an advocate of death. Okay. He dwells on human weakness. His job is to plant an idea, to give them a reason to die and tell them how to do it. He wants them for good. Oh. Jack took the bait. We 
before he knew he was completely brainwashed. One day he sat down with me and tried to explain his perfect solution. It was the Romeo and Juliet kind of scenario. We were both to die together in each other's arms. It was supposed to be a quick and foolproof death. There was no chance we would have been saved. All mm. thanks to the eye of Adam, who created a tool for perfect suicide. He told me it was very simple. What? All we needed were two easily accessible household chemicals, which combined together create gas called hydrogen sulfide that kills you within a couple of minutes. Oh. I told him he was fucking nuts, of course. But he just wouldn't give up. Shit. He reasoned with me, and he begged, and eventually just kept screaming at me. I figured it was his crazy idea of a modern romance, hmm. but it was downright tacky and just wrong. Finally, he said he would get everything ready and wait for me in our special place at dawn. Five in the morning. Don't be late. Those were she his didn't last show. words he said to me. Then he stormed out. I cried for hours, thinking I, I didn't deserve all that from the person I love most in the whole world. Yeah, he should have just been there for her until the end. Maybe he was right, and I should do it. But I just couldn't. I eventually fell asleep. I didn't plan it. My head was killing me. I was so tired. Oh. I woke up suddenly. I could see the sun rising out my window. It was nearly five. In utter panic, I threw myself off the bed and ran out the door. I needed to stop him. I needed to get there before it was too late. Oh, I'm so in sorry. But right there in my bedroom. Before I even left. I already knew it was. Oh. When well, I arrived at our special place, it was already bright. We used to go there in the past. Drink wine. Sometimes smoke weed and listen to Pink Floyd. Sometimes make love in Jack's car. There wasn't really anything special about that old parking lot. But to us there was. Yeah. It was completely abandoned. It was quiet. It was safe. After that day I've never gone there again. Okay. Oh, we're now her. Ah. Ugh, sound. Okay, so where is he? Oh, Sounds so annoying. Ooh. So that's how he keeps people out of there, out of the car. I'm so sorry. I think now I understand. He loved you so much. He couldn't bear the thought of living without you. And that guy, the Eye of Adam. I'm not surprised you want to find him. I know I would. I'm so not sure if I should flats. believe that you only want to talk to him. But hey, that's none of my business. I wouldn't know what I'd do if this happened to me. But should I trust but, uh, her? But I, really I shouldn't trust talk. anyone, right? I want to face Jack's killer and tell him what he's done to me. You know, the funny part is that he actually told me where he lives. Oh. He wants to meet me. Would you believe that? How come? Well, this kind of thing he does is called trolling on the internet. <laughs> trolling, It's yeah. usually a form of extreme bullying, psychological cruelty. Those Whoa. who are clever enough oh. say, don't feed the troll. Don't feed <laughs> them. It, it only makes it worse if you show any interest in them at all. Okay. The eye of Adam is no exception. He craves attention. He's a hungry troll who wants to devour as many hearts as he can get a hold of. I emailed him and told him I was a massive fan who loves his work. Ah. When at first. But trolls are always hungry. And I was prepared to serve him a meal fit for a king. What do you mean? I fed him so much bullshit that he really believed I'm a suicide preacher just like him. Great. Hmm. I wish he'd given you his door number, though. It's all a part of some sick game he's playing. Sooner or later, I'll find him. Okay. Uh... How strong is that gas? 
extremely deadly, it turns out. It kills in minutes. It's that stinky stuff that smells like rotten eggs, you know? At high concentration, gonna... it can knock down an elephant. Is she gonna kill him like that? There were signs on the car windows. Warning signs, yeah. I found on that forum that the Eye of Adam doesn't want any accidental deaths. So we posted this poster design for people to print. It turns out there's a whole sick ideology behind it. Fumes from the car could hurt anyone who opens the door, and that's not the point. The idea is no. to die willingly and with clear mind, to prepare for it, to embrace it. Jesus. You'd think the police would investigate the whole thing. It sounds almost like a sect. This guy knows mm. how to hide. The police can't be bothered to make an effort. It took no. me three months to track him down. Now I'm finally so close, I can almost smell that fucker. What are those two chemical products? Well, I... I'm not sure if you want to know that. I get it. You don't want mm -hmm. to tell me because I'm a fucking suicidal maniac. Is that it? Probably no, not. Tajwa. No, I, I didn't mean it like that. Okay. Maybe to some extent. Just replace maniac with victim and fucking with... Recovering. Recovering. Yeah. You only just come back from the hospital. Whatever it was that made you do it, you proved you are capable of going through with it. I don't know you long enough to tell you if you're completely over it now. Hmm. And the last thing I want is to give you stupid ideas. It would be just like what the Eye of Adam does. I would never yeah. forgive myself if anything happened to you because of me. I mean, how could I? Okay. What if I promise yeah. to you I will never do it again? Probably doesn't really make any sense, but oh. Okay. Alright. Oh. But if you don't keep <laughs> okay. your promise, Miss Ashworth, I'll find you in hell and kick your lying ass for breaking my already <laughs> broken heart. <laughs> you can't kick my ass when I'm dead. I'll soon be dead too, Miss Ashworth. So, yeah, I swear I will do it. I don't Aww. think so. You'll go to heaven, you muppet. Muppets. Oh. The what? recipe for this deadly cocktail is very simple. Any what? good housewife can make it in a blast. Oh, I'm back again with the eyesight. Okay, can't go further to the left there. Cat grabber. He's sleeping. Buckets. It's empty buckets. Do I need that? Passion. If only I could reach one of them. I can! I have the cat thing! It's fast asleep, drunk or on drugs. Yeah, no chance in a fight. That's strong and insane. Yeah, he's not really smart. Must be his private room. Well, ugly Betty upstairs cooks <laughs> ugly Betty. <laughs> what a charming couple. Gold draft coming through the broken window. Where is the broken window? I don't see one. Is that on this side? Okay, let's see if I can use this. Oh, no. Okay, she doesn't... Mm, I don't want to wake him up. Ah, okay. Buckets? Can I grab that? No. She's walking backwards. Okay, let's go up then. Oh, this is creepy. I hope I'm not just walking into her. Need a light bulb. 
What am I hearing? A light bulb for this one too. Oh. Sounds like she's coming down. Where? She's in the kitchen, isn't she? Oh, those sounds. I feel like I'm gonna get busted at any... Oh, nice. Slimy. Door is stuck. Okay. I have a knife now. Maybe I can... Why do I need that? Oh, and I need to hide? Fuck, I need to hide. That's creepy. I just want to kill them both and be done with it. Well, well. Boxes full of bleach. I oh, suppose fuck, I'm I so deserve stressed. a bottle. I've worked hard for it. Okay, grab it. This reminds me of something. What, how I got the it poured in my face? Is a strong toilet bleach. You know the kind. Oh. Not just a regular bleach, but one that makes your eyes all watery and skin itchy. Well, it certainly did that. Oh, I'm back here again. Oh. What's going on? Something is wrong, Mitzi. The cats are alarming. That's exactly like when I found you, Miss Ashworth. We've got Something's to check what's going, going on. on. Oh, I'm really sorry, but there is no way I'm going out in this fog. Then I'll go. Fine. I'll go on my own then. Oh, is that how I got there? Oh. Okay. Let's have a look. Ground floor. Let's go outside, have a look. Oh, here's the pest control guy. Why that sound? Bloody fog. Oh. Can't see a thing. There you are. Someone could be getting murdered two feet away. And not a soul would notice. Ah. But still, it could be worse. At least it's not raining, eh? Always look on the right side, they say. And I ah, always do. go away. Not a talkative type, are you? No. What's your name, sweetheart? None of your Don't business. Don't be such a scary cat, sweetheart. You're Susan, aren't you? He knows me? A kind man had described to me what you look like. That fucker and upstairs. What, what can I say? He was spot on. What do you want? I'm just here on a job, sweetheart. Nothing more. Ugh. I had a call, you see. There's a cat problem. No, there isn't. And apparently, some crazy cat lady keeps making it worse for everyone. <laughs> That's me. Okay. A crazy cat lady called Oh, Susan. so he's gonna I take care told. of not only the cat problem. No, you ain't gonna like it, sweetheart. But I'm taking you for a ride. He's just saying that like that. Oh, that's how I got there. Huh. Cloth box. 20 bottles of bleach. Take the cloth. Just a dirty piece of rag. Okay. Maybe I can pour bleach in it. And then put it on someone's face. Okay. What should I do with the painting? Wait. It's 
small painting. Hmm. Okay. Go through the door. Oh, this is where they, like, use acid to... Yeah, like an acid to, to, to dissolve people. What? Oh, there's a key in there. Oh, oh, use the cat thingy. this what that's perfect for that okay smell low makes me wretch yeah no. okay here she is Could it be human? First I need to I need her to go away. I need to make a distraction. How can I make a distraction? I can hide under the table. Oh, those sounds. No, not here. Okay. Can I maybe stab the guy while he's sleeping? That would be easy, right? Let's go back in the cellar. Oh, those sounds, man. They're so good. They're creeping me out. Oh, it's too blunt. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, okay. Let's go up then. We haven't looked upstairs yet in the main hall. Oh, and maybe I could use this light bulb. Too hot. To turn the light off first. Is there a switch? Oh, clock. Still working. Oh, hidden passage? Oh. oh, I'm outside. Oh. You can go, you can run away. Okay. Oh, wait. What? Examine it. There was something about those bricks. Oh, she's, just not, she's not saying it anymore. Can I use this? No. Okay. Okay, then let's cut it here and uh, try, uh, try other stuff tomorrow. Okay. Bye, guys.